Good morning. Welcome to Wistland Pound Reservoir. Try saying that. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, then welcome back. Um, I always appreciate the support. I am currently sat in my car at the reservoir. I'll say that name again. It's Wistland Pound Reservoir. It's on Exmoor. Um, I'm just gonna have a coffee and then I'm gonna get out. It's not the conditions that I expected. The, the forecast was cloud, broken cloud. Um, so I thought I'd just come down and show the reservoir off. I've not come here for sunrise or anything like that. Um, but what this does provide is, uh, it's about a mile and a half of a woodland walk around the reservoir. So I'm gonna do that because if any of you know what Exmoor is like, you get this low sat fog mist kind of thing. So that'll look spot on in the woods. Um, so we'll give that a shot. It's not a wasted journey ever. And hopefully by the time I've done that walk, it might have cleared a bit. Um, Cause I had come down here to, I've got the drones in the boot. So I come down, sort of plan that. Um, that's about it. Bear with, and we will get cracking after I've had a coffee. It was a bit of a long drive down here. It was an hour and a half, hour and a half to get here. So yeah, quick drink and we'll crack on. First shot of the day. Can't not get this shot. It's gorgeous. Um, so looking up the path, dead straight path, you've got all these tall, beautiful, beautiful tall trees. Um, and you've got the mist sort of coming through the trees. Um, just a second, I get set up. So we're all set up. Uh, one over one fortieth of a second f5.6 ISO 320 I've got it going sort of a little bit higher than that little bit sticking out so I'm kind of looking at the shot there you've got the path running up through the middle into the trees and it just kind of leads to kind of leads to infinity I guess um, it's quite pretty uh, Looks good on the back of the camera. I'll put that one up now. Little photography tip. It's not really anything to do with photography. When you when you've just done the shot and you walk on a bit further just stop and take a look behind you because you may have well missed a completely different opportunity. Um, I've just done exactly that. So I'll put that shot up now as well. Same settings, I'm zooming in roughly about 28 to 35 mil. Um, but I'll put the settings under the picture um, and just shot backwards. So see which one I like. Am I? Yeah, I'll put them both up. Raining. 
<laughs> Typical Exmoor. It's lovely and warm. It's about 16 degrees. It's gorgeous, but it is raining. Um, I'm hoping it's quite windy. I'm hoping it just blow off, blow over, blow off. Um, then I can get the drone out, hopefully. Um, keep walking I'm on the top path at the moment. Slightly exposed, but some gorgeous colours about. Uh, I just turn you around now. Look, these beautiful, beautiful purples. Even the rain can't put those away. Gorgeous. Happy, happy Pete. Um, quite a few comments from the colonoscopy video. Looks good. Hopefully, it's had some reach. Um, it's important to share stuff like that. I'm still waiting for biopsy results, but I have stayed completely and utterly gluten free, <clears throat> and I feel good for it, man. I feel real good for it. Uh, Obviously, we just had that massive heat wave, um, which has tired me out this week a bit. I think I think the heat gets to everybody somehow, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and on heart, gluten free. Looked into the little the other disease a little bit, diverticulus. Not found much out about it yet, but we keep going. Um, but thanks, thanks for the feedback. And uh, if you haven't shared it and you're watching this, just, just get on and share it because it's so important that men don't hide issues and women for that matter. And we get them addressed. Um, right, whilst we're on this bit, give us a like and subscribe. Can't tell you how much it helps that like button, it pushes the video up further. Sorry, I have to wipe my nose a minute, it's dripping. It's, uh, it's quite wet here. <laughs> so yeah, like and subscribe and um, drop a comment. It's always interesting to hear what you think. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for the support. update pissing it down now <laughs> um right, I've got this shot through the woods uh, it is raining do you think I've got a lens rag nope don't know where that is at home tucked away in the dryer I spent right this shot turn you around so I've set the frame up so I've got this tree on the left hand side and the path starts on the right hand side and goes into the middle and leads up into this nice big gap <clears throat> uh, it's kind of a light at the end of the tunnel shot if you like so i'm on iso 400 uh, f 4.5 and one over 125th of a second uh, let's see how that goes those. Yeah, looking good on the back of the camera. I like that. All the greens in there, and like I said, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I will stick that one up now. Don't forget to turn around. Look at that! I just done that one as well. I'll put it up now. This is shocking. 
Alright, I've just done another shot. Up through here. Same again, I've done a bracketed shot. Sort of followed up through the path. And you've got this beautiful, beautiful light there. Uh, there. So we'll pull that out in post. try and head down by the shore now because I think I'm getting super wet because the wind's blowing quite hard and it's blowing all the drips off the tree. I've got some real, real I've got, hopefully, you like them, hopefully I've got some nice forest shots. Um, so let's head down to the water side because I'm sure there'll be some wildlife there. What the bloody hell. Uh, hopefully it stopped raining. Um, Gonna have a look. This GoPro takes ages to react, doesn't it, to a light change. Um, something I'm totally unimpressed with with the GoPro is its heat. Um, it, it stops recording when it gets too hot, switches off. It's obviously a, a, a safety feature um, to protect everything inside, but. It's not a very good feature because it stops recording and you don't realise. Um, before I bought this, I was looking at one of the DJI Insta cameras and uh, it got slated because of its cutting out on heat. But I, if anybody wants to lend me one, I'll do a comparison. Um, See which one cuts out first. That'd be interesting. I have found shelter. I don't know what it's called. What are they called? Bird watching places. A hive. A hide. Um just watching the birds. It's quite peacefully nice actually. And it's dry. <laughs> um there's an egret or a heron down there. <clears throat> Might slap on a 400, see if I can pick him out. Uh, the water levels receded a hell of a lot. This place holds something like 348 million gallons of water. Um, but obviously all the dry weather lately, it's gone. It provides drinking water for the local towns. If it recedes enough, so I read last night, you can see the old train line that used to run through the valley. Um, but that's quite impressive. I've always sworn blind. Exmoor's got its own microclimate. Um, and just to prove it to you, I'm only, I'm not very far away from home. It's a long drive because it's, you know, slow, slow roads. Um, so at home, this is my, um, CCTV camera out in front of the house. Perfectly dry and lovely. All right, okie dokie. <clears throat> I've come down by the reservoir. Um, although the water's receded, just be careful when you do stuff like this because it is quite soft underfoot. And if you get stuck here, you're in a world you're in a world of pain because you're on your own. Right, so I want to try and encapsulate the reservoir, although it spins around the corner. I I'm not going to be able to get that because I, I honestly don't think the drone's going to go up because this mist just isn't clearing. So um, I'm going to try and do this. So turn you around. So from the camera. I'm sort of pointing down into this gully and I've allowed that to follow it round and I'm just coming across the top of the trees don't need all this this is grey crappy but what I want to do is pick out all the trees and the mist traveling across 
Um, so we are currently set up 1 80th of a second ISO 500 F11 and that's that's bringing all those trees out I've set the I've set the stream up so it's in the middle it runs down the, the, the center third and in into the shot into the reservoir um, and hopefully in post we'll bring out all that mist um, I think it'd be a nice shot I've got this tiny sort of if we go that way it doesn't adjust the speaker I've got this here as well bringing that into the shot um, only a little bit just to sort of frame it a little bit um, and it's just started to rain again so uh, let's crack on um, I'm gonna do a focus stack as well um, so I'm gonna focus down here on the stream leading in well it's a bit of a shitty muddy stream it's it's still a pathway that leads into the shot and then I'll focus over here do a sort of three four shot focus across there and one in this foreground as well so I will put those up now I might even do a pano yeah why not camper van or not to camper van that's the question a friend of mine's just got one two friends actually three three yeah three bloody hell now I've got this fast car called the BMW M4 and it's a bit awkward sometimes the places I go photographing um, Sometimes it just doesn't work. Fair, you know, some of the ground is horrible, it's uneven. To be fair, it's cost me a lot of money. It's an expensive car to run. And I think <clears throat> getting the camper van bug. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I mean, now I'm heading back to the car. No, I'm not, I'm heading down this path because that looks quite good. I'm gonna go back to the car in a minute for a coffee. I'm sitting there and I'm gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna sit in the same old chair that I sit in every day when I drive it. And I just feel, if I had a camper van, if I had a camper van, it'd be awesome. You go and sit on a comfortable chair and do stuff. I don't know, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you know, if, if you're wondering why why is he taking pictures of the mist? Why is he not getting the sky now? Well, generally speaking, the sky's boring. Photographers love clouds, hate blue skies, and blown out massive yellow sun. But I'm glad about these conditions today. I knew it was gonna be poopy, but I didn't think it'd be this crap. Um, as in the weather's crap. But this is what Exmoor is to me. Um, I used to cycle a lot and Exmoor was on my doorstep and I used to cycle up here. Done a fair few bloody miles up here. And if we always used to joke, you know, Exmoor's got its own microclimate. Um, and it's not a joke, it really has. You know, I've, I've just showed you the CCT of home, CCTV of home. It's lovely. But you come up here and it's a moody, mysterious, unexplored place and that's what I love about it. It's got that mystery about it and you know if I post process all these pictures properly I want that mystery that mood um, yeah don't get me wrong it'd be lovely to be up on a bright sunny day and picnic and you know the water lapping at your feet but sometimes it just don't work out like that um, but this this is this is great I know I'm soaking wet but it, you know you've got the you've got the mist sat on top of the trees and just adds adds mood and oh, that's better. All right, back.
back at the car. Um, it's blowy. It's still blowing rain through. Um, I'm just going to sit here 10, 20 minutes. Just give it a bit of time um, and see if it kind of blows through and just clears and uh, we'll try and get the drone up. I don't think it's suitable for FPV footage, um, but if we can get the drone up a couple hundred feet, you know, we'll do it. So uh, yeah, bear with. Managed to just get the drone up. Um, so enjoy this little flight around a reservoir. I'll bet it's very quick because I can just watch swathes of rain coming in and the drone did come back slightly wet. So it is just a quick whip round, enjoy. Um, and that is me out. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, I'll see you next week on another adventure. Don't know where I'm going. Um, give us a like, subscribe and comment. It means so much. Um, I want this channel to grow. I love, love doing it. Um, so yeah, and share me. If you fancy sharing it on your Facebook page, copy the link. Um, it's down in the menu bar down there somewhere and um, post it to your Facebook page why not um, until then thanks see you soon stop this this is what encapsulates Exmoor for me I am, I am an absolute mess here um, let's turn you around look we've got we've got this path and we're gonna lead it all the way across got the Bristol Channel and you've got these beautiful clouds up here um, they're laying out so much definition you see right over to Wales you see the ships in, in the channel it's um, it, yeah it's bloody gorgeous and we've got this massive beautiful beam of light coming across the fields um, there's, there's no other way but the pano um, so one over 80th uh, shutter speed f13 I try on f sort of 15, 14 15 as well ISO 64 I'll bring all that cloud definition out post. Um, bear with and I'll put that one up.